So acute sciatica for most patients is due to a disc prolapse pressing on a nerve. And as a consequence, they get pain down the leg in the distribution of that nerve. Um, unfortunately, wear and tear is common in all of us. It's part of the human condition. And we see wear and tear in children as young as four years old. And the chance of having wear and tear in our spines gets higher and higher the older we get. So all of us are at risk of sciatica. Some families have a higher chance of sciatica than others. And there are a few lifestyle things that make a difference to wear and tear in the discs. For example, smoking increases the, the rate of wear and tear by a small amount. But other things like sports and occupation have very little impact on the chance of wear and tear. Most patients with sciatica would present complaining of pain in the leg um, and sometimes pain in the back as well. But the main symptom of sciatica is pain that goes down the leg. And that may be associated with pins and needles or with numbness and sometimes with a change in the temperature sensation. So some people complain of things feeling like it's burning or things feeling very cold, like their foot or leg is uh, in a bucket of ice. Most patients with sciatica will have symptoms that improve by six to 12 weeks. So leaving things alone is perfectly reasonable in the first instance. However, for a small proportion, probably about five to 10%, symptoms will persist beyond six to 12 weeks. And that's when it becomes worthwhile looking at other treatments that are available. So most people with sciatica will get better just by leaving things alone and treatment is not always necessary. And even if symptoms continue, if the symptoms are manageable, it's perfectly reasonable to leave that alone with no treatment. However, if people have got symptoms that are disturbing their quality of life beyond 12 weeks, then other treatments such as a nerve root block or even surgery um, is an option. So the natural history of sciatica is that it will slowly improve with time for most people. While that process is happening, it's reasonable to take simple painkillers, but to avoid complex painkillers and avoid things like morphine-based drugs, which have been shown to probably do more harm than good in the longer term. Staying active is really important. It keeps the muscles in good condition. 